We're gonna analyze two supplements from the More Plates, More Dates supplement line, and we're gonna start right now. Over the last year, More Plates, More Dates has just blown up on YouTube. And this is a guy, Derek, that I've been following a little bit on and off for the last two, two and a half years, I'd say. In the beginning of his channel, he put out a ton of really, really good information. And he still puts out really, really good content around supplements, around drug usage for, with anabolics. Is this person natty or not? Check out the Daniel and Bailey one, it's freaking awesome. But anyway, he does a really good job of reacting to different things and breaking things down. And with that, he's had a supplement line that has been on the rise. And we've had a couple people hit us up. You're into the supplement world, you're into the supplement supplement industry, what do you think about Gorilla Mind? After about the third or fourth hit, it was like, all right, let's just do a reaction here. I went out, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna give this a fair shake. I'm gonna pick up the Gorilla Mode Tiger's Blood. <laughs> and I'm gonna pick up the Gorilla Mind Dream supplement and I'm gonna run a little bit of an experiment. I wanted to go through, if I take this four or five times, how do I feel when I'm training? I've taken tons and tons of different pre-workouts. I've experimented with my own pre-workouts. I've invented my own pre-workout. I have my own supplement line. So how can I figure this out? Pretty easy, right? And just run through the, that different test. As I picked up Dream, I was able to track my sleep and compare it to my prior sleep by using my Fitbit. And so I think it's important right Right off the bat to start off with what is the supplement world right when you run supplement companies it's essentially like i can pick up the phone and i can call what's called a contract manufacturer and i can say hey i, I want a pre-workout what do you have and they'll basically just give you this canned pre-workout recipe that they already have and you just slap your metallic or black label that's shiny and tough looking and has names like tiger's blood and they produce it for you that's typically what happens i don't think that that's what Derek did. I actually think that he created this and ended up contacting a specific contract manufacturer, gave them some ideas of what he wanted in it, and then they made it for him. So you can do this, it just takes a little bit more time. And that's actually what the best supplement companies do, is they do make their own recipes. They do test and figure out what they want in their supplements. But to go into this specific, going into gorilla mode, I will say that Tiger's Blood tastes very, very good. Now, when we break this down, the, the first issue I have is he does a good job on the supplement facts of laying down if you take one scoop or two scoops. What I would want to see is this mainly based around poundage. If you weigh over 200 pounds, this is about how much caffeine you would want. If you're under 200 pounds, this is about how much caffeine you would want. One of the issues that when I'm looking at it and I've written down all the ingredients that he has, and to me, it looks like the shotgun effect, but I still wanted to try it, right? So the first two times that I took it, I felt Okay, full disclaimer, I really like beta alanine. I like that tingly feeling. I think it helps me get stupid pump and last a little bit longer in, in a bodybuilding style session. He does not have beta in here. So that was like my first like, oh man, there's no beta in here. As we work through this and he's got L-citrulline, which is decent, but my first complaint is that he has L-citrulline and then he has malic acid. I recommend putting in a proper ratio of just citrulline malate. So I would wanna see citrulline malate, not L-citrulline and then malic acid separately because they're different. And, and citrulline malate is going to give you a bigger pump than just citrulline and malic acid. Citrulline and malic acid, I've never felt anything from. And I've played around with just those amino acids and I've never ever noticed anything from L-citrulline and malic acid. That's my first complaint. My second complaint was he does have creatine in here. So a lot of people like putting creatine into pre-workouts. I've never felt like that's worthwhile. I think it's just something that you can add into marketing. So he has raised his nitric oxide, intense focus and drive, and increases power and endurance. I don't see the purpose of putting the creatine in there. And he has only 2.5 grams. Dude, if we're gonna put creatine in anything, I wanna take 0.1 grams per kilo body weight. So I think that's another negative there. So L-citrulline, malic acid, and creatine, I think those three are not worthwhile. He puts in glycer pump. So glycer pump is a trademark aspect of glycerol. All it is is they take some weird formula and they say 95% of this is glycerol. And then there's like this proprietary thing that they, they patent it and say that their glycerol is different from everybody else's glycerol and you can't use that style of glycerol. Glycerol is supposed to give you a, a big pump. My issue here with glycer pump is there's about 1500 milligrams. My understanding of glycerol to be effective is like five to six grams. I could be wrong with that, but from what I've seen in studies, it's 
you know, five grams is where you're gonna really start to feel that pump. Now, what I like about it is he's got betaine in it. That's been shown to help with sprint cycling. That's been shown to help with power output. That's been shown to help with getting a pump. Betaine and hydrous, so that's good. And I think he has got, he's got a pretty good amount in there. I would recommend maybe a little bit more. I think he has 1,250 milligrams. I put 2,000 milligrams in there. He's got tyrosine, phenomenal. Helps with alertness, and I think he's got the, the right dosage in there with tyrosine. It's at 750 milligrams. Agmatine sulfate, I've never noticed anything. This is like more straight up bodybuilding. I've never felt anything from it. Some people claim it's great. I think it's sort of worthless. And along with that is canna, which is like a herbal thing. And I, I think that's one thing I'm gonna to touch on right away now too, is that it's almost as if Derek looked at like the modern herbal dispensatory book and was like, oh, this helps with pain relief. This is an herbal remedy for pain relief. Put it in here. And that's what canna is. It's like roots or leaves that, that we can put into powder form. And it's supposedly gonna have pain relief being in a powder. I don't usually think that that happens. I think when you're talking about different products that you can use in teas, I think that's different. I think the teas are a little more effective than the actual powder. Caffeine though, he's got a good amount of caffeine in here, 175 milligrams. And then this is the one that was interesting to me. There's there's two here. Phenylethyl dimethyl dimethylamine citrate. I've never played with this at all. Known to be a stimulant. I have no idea. You know, I've never really played around with that. Going into using that with Hooperzine A. So Hooperzine A is gonna help with memory. It's gonna help with learning. I wanna say it's a, an amino acid. I'm not positive, I don't really remember. But then he puts in another patented bioparine. So black pepper fruit extract standardized to 95% piperine. Now that's apparently help with absorption of the ingredients, right? So I use this, I, I question some of the stuff that's in here. I personally wanna see a pre-workout that's basically got beta alanine, caffeine, tyrosine or taurine, betaine in it, and then citrulline malate. I don't wanna see L-citrulline, I don't wanna see malic acid. I wanna see a proper ratio of citrulline malate. And I think that, that that can be as simple as possible and it's gonna be really, really effective. You're gonna get a little bit of placebo effect from the beta. You're gonna get the stimulation from the caffeine and the betaine. You're gonna see a power output increase from betaine and from caffeine. And then you throw in some taurine and the tyrosine, it's gonna help with that mental alertness. And that's all also gonna help with being able to handle and focus while you're, you're a little bit more wired on caffeine. So I took this for multiple days and by the end of the second day, I started to feel horrible. I almost felt like sluggish and like sick to my stomach. The taste is good, but I didn't notice really anything at all. And I am pretty aware of, of things when I'm training, right? I'm not a total newbie. By the fourth day, I absolutely was like, the, my sluggish, poor feeling right now is directly from this pre-workout and I didn't want to take it anymore. That was my personal response. I didn't like it. I didn't feel any big pop. I just started to not want to have anything to do with it and I gave it to other athletes in the gym and I told them, go ahead and use it and no one really felt anything from it at all. Now, that's my criticism. Is this worth the money? Is it worth getting? Probably not, maybe try it once, but I would just bring into question a couple of the ingredients. I'm not a huge fan of the patented trademark stuff, even though we do use them in some of our supplements. Now, this brings me to Gorilla Dream. What I did with that was I spent a little more than a week on it, every single night, four pills. I tracked my sleep on my Fitbit. It's sort of like a traditional ZMA. There's B6, there's magnesium, there's zinc. I think he's got low amounts of all three of those. It's not really high with mag, it's not really high with zinc, it's not really high with B6. It's also like the type of zinc I didn't think is the best, but he's got GABA. Great, you know, for neuronal activity. It decreases your neuronal activity and it helps you handle your stress a little bit more. And there's a ton of research on ashwagandha with stress management. Again, I still think some of his dosages are slightly low. I think ashwagandha actually on his bottle is actually a little low. He gets lemon balm extract. A lot of these things that he's putting in here, they're notorious for dealing with anxiety, dealing with insomnia, helping you calm down. L-theanine's in here and L-theanine is absolutely phenomenal for, especially if it's paired with caffeine, it's really phenomenal for skill learning and memory but it's also something that can help you calm down a little bit and it's gonna help you sleep. So he's got it in Dream and Gorilla Dream. I love l -theanine. So he's putting some real good stuff into Dream. He's got L-Dopa, okay, so Mucuna purines. That's a, it's from a bean. There's a ton of information that L-Dopa can really, really, really help people that are under a lot of stress. There's 
tons of information on it. Valerian, and this is, when I've had sleep issues in the past, I've actually combined valerian leaves with chamomile and I've made these you know, teas out of it so that I can try to get a little bit better sleep. I'm a high wired person. I sometimes struggle to even just try and unwind and calm down. But if I have valerian tea with chamomile, I tend to sleep a little bit better. He puts chamomile and valerian inside of here. He also adds in hops. Hops can also, when combined with valerian, it's phenomenal. And it's funny because the only reason I'm bringing up the Modern Herbal Dispensatory book is because, and when you start to read what he's got in here and the pairings he puts in, especially for the sleep compounds, those those things are all well known to come to, to do well with sleep and with insomnia. And so you put hops and chamomile together. What I found interesting is that he adds in the right dosage of melatonin. The funny thing is, is that he adds in skullcap. And skullcap was an herb that I had never heard of. It's something else that's known as an anti-anxiety root or herb. I don't know if it's worth putting in to, to dream, but all these other things, they all make sense. Theanine, L-dopa, valerian, hops. And then you couple that with the B6, with the zinc, with magnesium and GABA ashwagandha. I started to doubt it because I'm going, well, I don't know, it's in, it's in pill form. Well, let's see, let's see what happens. The first night of sleep, I slept a little over seven hours. Everything had improved, my deep sleep, my REM, and I'm not saying my Fitbit tracker is absolutely on point, but I've had past weeks where I can look at my sleep and I can see it change when I take Dream. Okay, so I go four or five days, six days, seven days. Today was the ninth day. And last night, I got about seven and a half hours of sleep. My deep sleep has increased. I used to only get about an hour of deep sleep. Now I'm getting about an hour and 45 minutes, close to two hours. My REM, I would sleep for like 30 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes of REM. Now I'm getting close to an hour. Now, I think Derek probably created that formula. I highly doubt he called his contract manufacturer and they had that formula actually fully prepared ahead of time and that that's what people are buying when they're creating a sleep aid. I actually think he probably put in that time, put in that effort to put in a really decent, high quality sleep formula to help people recover. Because that's the biggest thing is that if you're not taking anabolics, the best thing to help you improve your recovery is sleep. And if you can get high quality sleep, you're gonna be able to recover and you're gonna be able to feel better and you're gonna get bigger and you're gonna you know fill out your shirts and stop looking like a middle schooler. So I think all this stuff is really, really key. My final reaction, when I look at everything from, from that top down, I think the pre-workout sucks. I don't think it's good. I think Dream is absolutely 100% phenomenal and I typically take EarthFed Muscles 40 Winks. I love our 40 Winks. I would put Dream against 40 Winks. They're very comparable sleep aids. I think 40 Winks is a little bit better because we have higher amounts of magnesium and that helps really, really calm down the entire system, but they're both very comparable and Dream is absolutely a phenomenal sleep aid supplement that I would recommend to anybody. So. Don't waste your money on the pre-workout. Definitely try out Dream from Gorilla Mind Supplements. And if you need help with your nutrition, if you need help figuring out what you want to do, click on the link down below. You can pick up one of our free nutritional guides. It's an entire meal plan of what our NFL linebacker, Jan Johnson, how he eats and how he develops his overall nutrition so that he can get to the league and dominate his opponents. If you want more content around nutrition and around supplements, click on this card right here. Until next time, guys, peace.